good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and depending on when you're going to be seeing this video it's about your boy cost reps corner like i always tell you guys it's my corner it's your corner and it's a corner I don't wanna fall in love I just wanna have some fun, yeah I don't wanna fall in love when I tell people that religion is one of our problems in Africa, they will say, Kosrep, you are just talking. You are against the church. You are against this. I'm not. I'm just being open to you. In this video, I'm going to be sharing what an apostle, a man of God, said about love. From the summary of what he said, he said that love is a weakness. And he is advising women or so not to love not to fall in love and i don't I, can't, I don't know if i'm the one that is understanding it differently or if i'm the one that is hearing it differently or if i'm the one that is taking it to a different perspective or a different angle i don't really understand when i saw it i wasn't really happy because i felt that such messages should be generalized i don't know if you understand because he himself i feel is a married man and he cannot tell me that his wife does not love him if you are preaching what you don't what you don't practice, then don't come out and preach it. How can you say love is a huge weakness? Everybody has the feeling, everybody has the tendency of loving one another, be it the positive way or the negative way. We all have our stories to tell when it comes to love and it ups and downs. So I don't see any reason why um, somebody will not come and say uh, love is a huge weakness. He might be having a point. He might be saying it from a very wonderful perspective, but in general, it is not right. Love is a beautiful thing. In as much as I'm talking about love, I have not been too lucky with love. But it doesn't mean that, yes, it, it's not something you cannot gain something from. I don't know if I'm making sense. So I, when I saw it, I said, nah, how can you come and be saying this? For me, I felt it was not right. Although, like I said, he has his own reasons or reason why he feel it's like that. But for me, I feel something should be done. I feel it's a good thing that you love. I feel that it's a good thing you share your affection with someone who really have you in mind. And I say, no, I'll share it with us and talk to us about it to hear what we have to say. So please, you're going to sit back now and listen to this one, mi one minute video, very short. I want you to please tell me in the comment section your opinion. What he said, was it true? Was he right? Because for me, I felt it wasn't right. I felt it was just a means to an end, trying to scatter or trying to give negative vibe. You understand? Like I said, he might be saying it from his own point of view, his experiences and everything. But you advising such is, for me, it's not a good advice because somebody must have to fall in love. And the person falls, falls in love with somebody he, he appreciates. So the other way around becomes something else. So that is just it. So, guys, that's all I've come to share. With. I want to thank you all for always watching my content. Thank you so much for your love and the care. For those of us who have not subscribed or follow us in our social media platform, please, I beg you, subscribe to our like, comment, and share so we can move this ministry to the permanent circuit. I come away next time to see me on your screen, guys. I leave us with this video made by Apostle Emmanuel Akose. I think he's from Ghana. And he said something I wasn't comfortable with. I want us to stay here to see if I am the only one that is in that boat or I have people who support what I said. Let's go and watch together. Women, stop loving. Love is a huge weakness. The Bible never said a woman should love a man. 90% of your tears, 90% of your regret, 90% of your pain is connected to love. When a woman is in love, she becomes weak. When a woman is in love, she ignores the red flags. She ignores the, the pain. She ignores the lack of attention. She ignores the disrespect because she thinks he will change. One of the greatest weakness of women is that once a woman is in love, she always feels that the partner will change over time. And that has made a lot of women's time to be wasted. One year, five years, 12 years, 24 years, 30 years. You are waiting for an idiot that can never change. God never said the woman should love a man. He said submit. You know why God said the woman should submit? Because submission is expensive.
your sub you should only submit to a man who genuinely loves you by his actions by his attributes by his behaviors by the way he treats you the way he treats you is the proof that he loves you if he doesn't treat you right and he tells you he loves you that is babadash to him breathe is given sense is expected get this point today stop loving submit to the person that deserves it